Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I came out today because there's a lot of new things happening for the month of August. Extended park hours, a couple new experiences, and a returning nighttime show. I am so excited. Anywho's, let's go do this. The park is open till 9 o'clock tonight, and that is amazing. It's been closing as early as 7 and 8 o'clock for the longest time, but because we have a nighttime show now, we get a little extra hour in there, and it makes a big difference because I really haven't seen Hollywood Studios like lit up at night for a while. It has been a couple of really hot days here in Florida, so I waited until way in the afternoon to come out, especially if I plan on staying until much later on so we can see the nighttime show. And yeah, it's a lot cooler. So that's a really good fun fact. If you guys want to avoid the heat, just wait and come a little bit later in the afternoon or go early in the morning, leave for the afternoon and then come back. I might start off the day here at the trolley car and get myself a iced coffee or a nitro cold brew. Not too sure, maybe something fancy. I want to get some coffee and then ride some rides, just hang out, go over the park. There's one new experience that I want to check out, but it might have closed early, so we'll find out if there's certain times that we can actually go do it. But I mean, overall, I want to just enjoy a night at Hollywood Studios and stay all the way to the nighttime show. Looks like we got a little Chippendale here. <laughs> I love your whiskers, Pluto. <laughs> oh, and there he is, the man himself. I got super excited because I seen a cavalcade was coming, so I abandoned the idea of going to get a coffee, and I wanted to go watch the cavalcade, and now there's a huge line for coffee. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get one right now. There was only like half of this line when I first walked up, but as soon as I seen the cavalcade, I was like, oh, I'll come right back. So uh, maybe we won't do it right now. Right before that though, I was explaining that the wonderful world of animation is returning tonight and that's going to be a projection on the Chinese theater. It's going to be a projection show. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the same one that we last saw or if it's going to be a new one because it's been probably a good year and a half, two years I believe. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it regardless. It's going to be a 12 minute show and it's going to start right at 9 o'clock. So we're going to have to be here just so we can get a good spot. Maybe Maybe we'll come like a half an hour, you know, beforehand. It's really hard to not get a good spot because basically you're just staring right at the Chinese theater. So there's plenty of open space. And since that is not till 9 o'clock tonight, there are a couple of other things I want to show you and a couple of things I want to do actually. I hear tell of something new inside Walt Disney Presents. We have to wear our face coverings though whenever we go indoors. So you're going to have to mask up. Mask up! At least the AC inside Walt Disney Presents is really, really strong. So it's nice and cool and refreshing in here. Right down here in this dark corridor, the Monsters Incorporated experience has opened. And look how bright it is. I feel like I'm going into some futuristic place. I had to change up the lighting a little bit because it is super bright when you first walk in, but take a look at all this. It is so cool in here. This used to be where you would meet characters. I remember meeting Monsters uh, Incorporated characters. I remember meeting Baby Groot in here. Lots of cool things. <gasps> There's a door. This is really, really awesome. <laughs> I like it. I'm so happy they did something with this back here instead of just leaving it empty. Like, I remember meeting BB-8 here, and this is where uh, little baby Groot was, and then you can meet Star-Lord, and I also met Mike and Sully here, like I said before, but now it's kind of just like a door photo opportunity. Got some nice artwork, some funky lights, and music. I can hang out in here. I think Monsters Incorporated is one of the best Disney movies out there. I really, really loved it. And I would love for them to do a Monsters Inc. like layover to the rock and roller coaster where you're actually like flying through the door factory. I think that would be such a cool experience. I would love to see a Monsters Inc. ride here in uh, Florida. They have one over at California Adventure, but nothing over here really. 
And once you get done with the Monsters Inc. experience, you can come right out to the Walt Disney Theater. They're going to be playing One Man's Dream. I love hanging out in Walt Disney Presents, and I love the tagline, From Mickey Mouse to the Magic Kingdoms and Beyond. Isn't that so fancy? Like, wow, I love it. It's so cool. Just as I was coming out of Walt Disney Presents, I was able to grab myself a walk-up reservation for the Hollywood in Vine. And I'm very excited because it's Minnie's Summertime Dine. And I don't think I've been here since it reopened and I think it was for Halloween. So it would be nice to see just a regular summertime dine. And yeah, and plus I'll be a little hungry and then we can eat food and then watch the show. It'll be a while before that though, but at least we got something to look forward to right before the show. For some reason, I always like going to get like a dinner reservation and then having like a nighttime show or fireworks right afterwards because they can just come out and it's kind of like a, like a dinner show, you know what I mean? So like if you're eating at the Crystal Palace and then as soon as you get done with dinner, you go out and see Happily Ever After, I feel like that always coexists like with like a nice time, you know? In the meantime, I came back around and there's no line for the trolley car. Look at that. So we can go get our coffee. But wait a second. There's another cavalcade coming. Either I go get the coffee or I watch the cavalcade. Because if I go watch the cavalcade, everyone will rush over here and then there's going to be a big line. Oh boy. What to do? There we go. That's the stuff. Exactly what we needed. It also looks like it might be raining here. I think we'll take our coffee and stroll on down to Andy's backyard, see what the wait time for attractions are, and try not to get soaking wet. Now, I looked, and it didn't say it was going to rain. It said it was going to rain earlier today, but uh, looks like it's going to rain a little bit later tonight. So hopefully we can seek some shelter. <laughs> I love hanging out back here. It is so fun and festive. And it's beautiful at night with all these like Christmas bulbs. And there goes Slinky. <laughs> I'm like, and there goes Slinky. Maybe we can ride this. That'd be fun. I wasn't planning on riding Slinky Dog Dash, but when I seen it kind of doing its lap there, I was like, I really would. Oh, there it goes again. I would really want to ride it. Look. It's so fun. It also looks like it's just about a 45, 50 minute wait. It's good to point out that even though this is an outdoor ride and an outdoor queue, you still need to wear your mask regardless. It just tells you mask on on all indoor things, but this is separate. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, right here, my favorite part. <laughs> oh boy. Hang on. Hang on. Gonna hang out of the hat. Okay. Gonna tighten up the mask. Don't want that flying off. Get our glasses all fixed. Cat secure. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's amazing. <laughs> Ooh. Slinky Dog Dash is the best. It always puts me in the greatest of moods. It's just, it, I don't know, it's like not like an intense, like thrilling roller coaster, but it just makes you feel so happy and giggly. Like it really is fun. While I was waiting in line for Slinky Dog Dash, which I only waited probably, I'd say 35, maybe 40 minutes, it had like a little rainstorm, and now it is super humid. Like it is probably the hottest it's been all day. I'm still waiting for Hollywood and Vine to actually text me back for my walk-up reservation. It said 55 minutes and it's been about an hour, so maybe they're just running a little bit behind. But also, walk-up reservations I hear is not a guarantee. 
sometimes they can text you like two hours later maybe so uh i mean we have time as long as it doesn't come like right before the show starts i still think we'll be pretty good i guess in the meantime we'll take a stroll down sunset maybe go check on the tower of terror i'm sure that's a pretty long wait so i don't think we're gonna be able to ride but you never know we might get there and it might be 13 minutes one of the things I don't like about having to wear a mask indoors again is usually when you're walking down and you can feel the AC coming out of the stores, you feel like you want to just duck in there to cool off for a bit. But now I really don't feel like that because then you got to put your mask on and everything like that and you really can't get cool and comfortable with the mask on. So it really makes it hard to actually find a place to sit down in AC unless you're actively eating or drinking. I love sitting here listening to the music too. It's so pretty here. Look at the balloons are coming out, the Tower of Terror right behind them, the music. The Tower of Terror says 40 minutes. I'm afraid to push it because once if they text me while we we're in line for the ride, we, I think we only have 15 minutes to get there. But at the same time, 15 minutes, so like we're looking at a 30 minute possibility. I don't know, it's gonna be a tough decision. Tower of Terror or possibly not be able to eat at Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> I think we're gonna roll the dice. It says 40 minutes, so like, like I said, you have 15 minutes, so 40 minutes minus 15 is 25 minutes. So we're looking at like a 25 minute difference. I mean, I really think this is possible. We might be able to do them both. I legitimately just got the text as I'm about to get in the elevator. Enjoy your stay. Great ride on Tower of Terror. It actually shot us all the way up again for like the second time. Usually you don't go all the way up, like you only do it once, but it did it twice on that. But now we need to get over to the Hollywood and Vine. I am very excited to eat here. It's a character experience or a character dining. So we're going to be able to interact with characters. And also, I think it's kind of like the Crystal Palace where it is all you care to enjoy, but it's per entree. Uh, so like the whole, like you pick one entree and you can get as much as you want. Uh, they're pretty big portions, like full meals. So I don't know if you can eat more, but uh, you can always get more salad or even the desserts too, because it's a, a kind of a course meal. Here is a look at the menu. For appetizers, you get a farmhouse tossed salad or a plant-based chopped salad, and then you pick one entree. So they have beef tenderloin, macaroni and cheese and shrimp, salmon, uh, they have a turkey dinner kind of, uh, spice rub pork loin, or asparagus and summer truffle risotto. That sounds amazing. And then you pick a dessert, and they have white chocolate cheesecake, chocolate s'more pie, cherry pie, lemon cake, and vanilla creme brulee. Oh, this sounds really, really delicious. It is $55, and that's basically the going rate for any character dining. $55 for Chef Mickey's, $55 for, I think, Garden Grill? I'm not too sure about that, but $55 is basically the going rate for any of the character dinings. Time to eat. Look at Minnie doing a twirl. Whoa, what a welcoming. <laughs> Thanks, Minnie. Oh wow, that was great. Oh, there's Mickey too. We're gonna see more of them a little bit later. Oh, yeah. right here, oh nice. Okay, that was awesome. What a way to walk in. Minnie was doing a twirl. They're all in their summertime outfits. I can't wait to see the goof. And uh, now I got myself a Powerade. And uh, yeah, I gotta figure out what I want to eat. Look at Pluto with his summer collar on. <laughs> that looks fancy. Look at you. I like your whiskers too, always. <laughs> Very springy. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Pluto. <laughs> now we got our first look at Pluto there. I'm excited to see what Goofy's summertime outfit's gonna be. And also, I think I'm gonna decide on getting the turkey dinner. Kind of like a mixture of Thanksgiving. It comes with cornbread stuffing, green beans, turkey, and all the works. I feel like that's the best one. I think before, last time I was here, I had the prime rib. Or it wasn't prime rib, it was uh, beef tenderloin. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit here. 
as we wait, we got ourselves some dinner bread. These look really delicious. And then also the farmhouse salad. That looks really, really good. These croutons look fresh. Oh, wait a second though. Is that the goof? Oh, it is. Goof, what is up my friend? You look fantastic. I like your outfit. At first I thought that was a Powerline shirt. It would have been cool. We need a Powerline shirt, definitely. Where's Maxie? No, we don't know. Oh, he's sleeping. Maxie's sleep. Oh, he's playing a game. Figures. That's how they all are. <laughs> also, take a look at Goofy's shoes. Look at those bad boys. That is awesome, isn't it? Oh, look at the dancing. <laughs> this is too good. Honestly. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. Did he just do the Carlton? I think he did. He did. I think he just did the Carlton. Wow. <laughs> I think it was worth $55 just to be able to see the goof do the Carlton dance move. Honestly, that was great. So fun. The dance moves cannot be beat today. <laughs> Honestly, thank you. Whoa. <laughs> and just like that, the food has arrived. Wow, they are quick on this. I'm really happy. I'm loving the vibe in here. So far, we had Goofy and uh, Pluto come out to the table. When we were walking in, we had Mickey and Minnie, so I'm sure they'll make their round soon, but we get to eat this in time. We have turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, cornbread stuffing, green beans, and then it looks like some cranberry peach. I'm not even sure what that's in there, but it looks delicious. Now, I did ask, and you can get more of this. So, like, you can get as many as you want. You can reorder a whole nother turkey dinner, and you pay the one price. Like, I feel like that is phenomenal. It's like endless turkey dinner. It's like endless Thanksgiving dinner with Mickey and Pals, or Minnie, because it is Minnie's dine. So, we're gonna dive in here. I think I'm gonna cut into a turkey first. Yeah, we're gonna go turkey first, because that's appropriate. Get a little bit of the gravy. Huh, you know. That's good. Oh yeah. Definitely tastes different than the turkey that I normally get at Disney. I feel like sometimes the turkey dinners can be kind of the same tasting, but the gravy is definitely different, and the way they cut this turkey is definitely different as well. Oh, I can't wait to dive into that stuffing. But the best thing you can do is having that all-in-one Thanksgiving bite where you get a little green beans, a little turkey, a little gravy, a little stuffing, and a little potatoes. But we gotta try everything on its like individual first. Oh wow, this stuffing looks so, so good. A little dab there. Oh yeah, that's good stuffing. And now the red skin potatoes. Oh yeah. And some of the green beans. I like this turkey dinner. <laughs> turkey din din. But now it's time to build the perfect bite. First, we're gonna grab a piece of turkey. Then, a little bit of the potatoes, a little bit of the stuffing, a little bit of that cranberry, and then we're gonna have to fork a green bean maybe there. Oh yeah, right there. That is a Thanksgiving bite. It's a little springy. My green beans look like Pluto's whiskers, but this is a really good turkey dinner. This is overall a very good turkey dinner. I like how the stuffing has the cranberry inside of it. Probably one of my favorite stuffings on property. Everything else is just right up there with me. I, I really do enjoy it here. I'm not too sure if I would get this or the uh, tenderloin. Uh, I think last time I liked the tenderloin, but they're both equal on like how good and price value. You know what I mean? It's $55, so it helps that it is all you care to enjoy just in case you like a big meal and you like to feel full. I feel like a lot of people 
always want to get their like worth out of a meal. Do you know what I mean? Especially paying a high price tag. You want to be like, all right, if I'm going to pay $55, I want to get full. I think one sitting of this could actually get you full. I need to save some room. I could actually get more stuffing, but I decided not to. I think uh, I'm probably, I'm pretty full just off the one turkey dinner and we still have dessert coming. And I think I went with the lemon and strawberry cake. I was thinking about the s'mores, but the s'mores was very heavy and very chocolatey. I like something a little light and refreshing. So a lemon cake sounds fantastic at this point. Oh my Lord, and take a look at this. That looks so beautiful. I love the way it's presented. Oh boy, I don't want to eat it, but it's like just so, look at it. <laughs> Before we get to the cake though, it does look pretty. Mickey and Minnie are coming, so we gotta we gotta wait for them. We gotta wait for Mickey and Minnie. There he is. How you doing, pal? Good. Nice. I love your outfit. Looks like you're about to hit the beach. <laughs> yeah, a little summertime fun. That is awesome. Thanks so much, Mickey. <laughs> Looks like we got a couple minutes before Minnie comes over, so we're gonna dive into our dessert here. Look at that. Cut it right down the middle. It's like a strawberry shortcake, but with a lemon cake. I think this is gonna be so, so good. I feel like I should eat the mint lip a little bit though. Here it is. That is so good. Wow. Wow, wow. Hi, Minnie. Thank you so much for the summertime dine here. I love your outfit. You look fantastic. Ravishing, darling. <laughs> oh, you like my hat? It's adorable. <laughs> Very fancy. Back to this dessert. This is just as I expected. Like, it is nice, fluffy, very airy, and I love it. It is so, so good. I'd much rather this than, like, the very heavy uh, s'mores, like, uh, cake that they had. It depends on, like, the, the evening. Today being very humid and hot, nice and airy is good. Oh, some dancing happening. Yeah, Minnie. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. <laughs> this is great stuff. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, love it. Thank you, Minnie. And here comes Mickey the man. Champion. <laughs> now it's time we're heading out. We gotta say goodbye to the goof though. Thanks. You're awesome. You're my hero. You are. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Goofy. We'll see you next time. <laughs> that was a great dinner. I really do love it in there, but when it comes down to like character dining and prices, I love all of the characters. They always do a great job, but when you combine those two with food, I feel like Chef Mickey's might be a little bit better than there, or Garden Grill actually. It's just, you know, it's like the food doesn't match how good the characters are. The characters are what make that $55 price tag. This is still pretty decent because there's not a lot of great restaurants here at Hollywood Studios, but if I was looking for character dining, like I, that's what I was looking for. I probably would do Chef Mickey's or Tusker House. Now we have to go scope out a spot for the magic of animation. I think I said that right. <laughs> the magic of animation. It's the wonderful world of animation. I don't even know where magic of animation came, but it sounds really fancy. The magic of animation. I like the sound of it. Half an hour to go. Looks like a lot of people are already here. They're very excited. I mean, I'm excited too. So I think, uh, like I said, you don't have to get here super early. You can just kind of just stand in place. I'm 30 minutes out and look, there's still good views everywhere. Something else I realized that's really kind of cool, but I feel like only at Hollywood Studios would you see a bunch of lightsabers during a nighttime show. And I kind of like the effect that, you know what I mean? It makes it look really, really cool. Right now, you really can't see a lot of them, but there are quite a few lightsabers out there. Oh, I see one right there, but a lot over there. It just seems really awesome. And look at all these people. A lot of people are here and they're excited. Morning, 
In just five minutes, we will proudly present the wonderful world of animation, where we'll invite you to celebrate more than 90 years of Disney and Pixar animation. For you to fully enjoy tonight's performance, the lighting in this area will be reduced. For your own safety and that of others, we ask that you remain in the same location until the lighting returns to normal. Our journey through the wonderful world of animation will begin in just five minutes. sure to be the talk of the town as every star in Hollywood has gathered to see Mickey's latest sensational picture. Just hear those people cheer. And look, there he is, the star himself, Mickey Mouse. And there's his sweetheart, Minnie Mouse. Aren't the two of them just the cats we are? Just don't tell Pluto. Let's take a look inside the theater. Well, there you have it. 
I really like that show. It's really fun and it's something we needed. It helps like thin down the crowds so a lot of people aren't over at Happily Ever After and it's almost impossible to actually get from here to Epcot unless you take the Skyliner and be really quick. So we really do need enough like extra hours and extra nighttime shows so that it's not over super really crowded like Magic Kingdom for Happily Ever After or Epcot for uh, Epcot Forever. And it's, it's a good show. I mean, it's not really fireworks. It's more about projections and the film industry and Disney films especially. And I do like it. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.